drilling for oil off the coast of the U.S. That debate is heating up on the Hill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi seems to be changing her position. In recent months, Pelosi and most of the Democrats have refused to ask for a vote on offshore drilling. Now, she says she might support such a vote on outer continental shelf and oil shale drilling, but she explains it has to be part of something that says we want to bring immediate relief to the public and is not just a hoax on them. House Republicans have staged what you might call sit-ins for more than a week now to demand an immediate oil drilling vote. And there is even talk that this whole issue could result in a possible government shutdown. More on that in a second. Joining us now, Senator Jim DeMint, Republican from South Carolina, a member of the Senate Energy Committee. Uh, Senator DeMint, uh, I know we're talking about uh, sometimes apples and oranges here when it comes to the actions of the House versus the actions of the Senate. But were you surprised that Speaker Pelosi changed her position on oil drilling? John, not at all. Uh, Americans are angry. I'm traveling the state of South Carolina now. I've never seen people so upset. They're hurting from the cost of gasoline. Now, I don't believe Nancy Pelosi will really give us a, a straight up vote on developing our own energy without some new government program or new spending. Uh, but the one good piece of news is that the ban on drilling and developing our own energy ex expires at the end of September. So we call October 1st uh, Energy Freedom Day, and we even have a website, uh, uh, energyfreedom.com, where people can come and sign a petition to Nancy Pelosi and to Harry Reid. So you're saying that, that in some respects her hands were tied because the, the legislation was going to expire in September. She was going to have to authorize some kind of a vote? Well, she's either going to have to pass a ban on drilling or allow a vote that opens it up. And uh, it, it takes a lot more to pass something than to stop something. So I think we're in a good position as Republicans to stop the extension of, of the ban on drilling as well as the development of oil shale. Uh, John, I think we need to go after all our energy resources in our country. And having our own oil and natural gas doesn't mean we, we don't continue to develop solar and uh, you know geothermal and all the alternatives that we have out there. But it's just national suicide right now to well, continue to, to ban the development of our own oil and natural gas. When gas is four bucks a gallon and diesel even higher than that, a lot of people obviously and a lot of Republicans, Republican lawmakers, think you've got a, a, an issue that resonates with the public here. But shutting down the government over this issue? Do you think people would go for that? Well, the only people who can shut down the government are Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid. The problem they might have is if they attach the continuation of this ban onto the end of the year spending bills, uh, then they'll be forcing a, a showdown about the closing of the government. Uh, I think the American people are mad enough that they would say to heck with government, we need energy, and if the Democrats are crazy enough to attach a ban on drilling to the end of the year spending bills, uh, then they're the ones, I think, that are going to get the, the blame for, for closing the government down. There's not one Republican that wants to uh, have a showdown about closing the government. South Carolina Republican Senator Jim DeMint, thanks for being with us.